All right, today we're going to be changing the glow plugs on a F-250 Super Duty with the 7.3 Power Stroke. First thing you want to do is remove the intake tubes from the filter to the turbo and then the boost pipe from the intercooler to the intake. To remove the boost pipe, it's a 7.16. Um, just a little clamp down here, a little clamp up here, and then it's just these hose clamps for the air filter. Now you want to loosen these enough so that they'll fit over the flanges that are in place. Such as that. And then same thing down here. Alright, now we're going to take this tube off, and it's just these guys, these hose clamps with a flat head. Alright, right now we're going to remove the main connector for the engine harness, and the bracket that it mounts to, because that's going to be in the way when we remove the valve cover. Alright, you're going to need a 10 millimeter to remove this. Should not be extremely difficult. All right, we have to remove this. Uh, this is like the part where the crankcase breather connects to the intake. And um, we just need to move that out of the way so we can reach the bolt um, under the bracket. Um, there will be a little oil in there. You got the crankcase breather right there. So that's all to be expected. Now we got to remove these two so the bracket can come out. I unclipped the connector just to make it a little easier to get to that one. So now you gotta get to these two. Uh, you'll need a stubby Phillips or something that's just short enough. This is just my only short enough one. Um, they're not too bad in there, you just gotta put good pressure downwards. All right, once it's out, you can just pull it off. Obviously, somebody's been in here before. Um, I would recommend just buying those new. They can't be very expensive. Now we can actually remove all of the bolts from the valve cover. And actually make sure to unplug this. All right, once you get all the bolts out, don't forget the one in the very back. Now we can pull the valve cover. All right, now we're gonna remove the valve cover gasket. This part is optional as they are reusable. Um, I figured I might as well change it while I'm in here. I don't want to come back and do it again. This is a pretty high miles truck. It has 300,000 miles. Unclip these off the injectors and just push it down. Pretty straightforward. Now you can do the glow plug and just reach your hand under the little hook and pull it out. It's pretty easy. So the technique for getting these out, it's not really tricky. It's just if you go all the way out with the long 10, the rocker is going to get in the way and you're not going to be able to get it out all the way. So go pretty much to accept like two turns out, then take a little tube, stick it on the end, and make sure it goes past that little lip like that. And then you can turn it and get it out that way and that'll also help pulling it out. Get loose. You can just throw the tube on there. Is it turning it? Reinstall the glow plug using the same method with the tube. Just down in there. And once it's started, that's good enough to throw the sock off. All right, now we want to take a rag and clean the mating surface between the gasket and the uh, head. That way we get a good seal, don't have to come back in here again. Just make sure the little rubber part is in all the way around. And then, just more or less. But right now the process is to Put all the wires in place and such. 
because really you're not gonna get it to hold down for you till till you put the the valve cover on again all right now that we got the other side buttoned up we put it in the garage just to make it easier it is winter it's flatter no ice on the ground in here so first thing to do on the passenger side we have to remove the boost tube again so again just the 716s up there and way down here okay so once you get the boost tube out of the way you gotta move the hoses around I put the heater hoses up here not ideal but you gotta do what you gotta do and then we can get in there again with the 13 take all the all the bolts off the valve cover first one you probably want to do is the front one because that is the dipstick is holding us in all right once you get the valve cover off the passenger side it's exactly like the driver's side um, after that it's pretty straightforward just do everything backwards um, now the truck starts way better and I don't have any problems in the cold anymore thank you for watching and I hope I helped somewhat